Okay, so we're gonna draw this Pugzilla. I actually got this from my dad. I drew uh, another version of it. So this is actually my dad's drawing, but not at fully. So yeah, so this is what it's based off of. So first, insert it where you want the mouth. You can do as wide as you as you want the mouth to be. I don't really want it to be really big, but then kind of like a box, you go up here and then you go up here. When you're done with that, you on this top area right here, you do you can do a curve and then a second curve and then line over it and connect. And then the other tooth won't be exactly by the edge again since the head's a little bit tilted. So it'd be right about here. Then not every drawing has the lines connecting, so I just do that. So as you can see in uh I didn't really fully do this the whole thing for it kind of looks like a mustache, but really it's supposed to be this part. So you can make it either a um, mustache or the part of the mouth for the dog. I'm gonna make it from the actual mouth of the dog. So if you want to do the actual mouth for a dog, then instead of going straight down, you go to the side like this, slightly down a little bit, and then you go back up. And then you re will not fully really repeat on the other side. You start from about in the middle where you curve, and then do like a four quarter, uh, three quarters of fourth of a U shape. So once you got that, for the nose, it's a little bit not like some noses that you might see on dogs. So kind of close to this center line that we drew right here, you do a U-shape and then another U-shape. Kind of like nostrils, but not full. Then you go up a little bit farther on the outer ones, connect, and then on the inner ones, go up and connect. And then once you're done with that, you can color them in. So we basically got the nose in the mouth done. One thing more about the mouth, you can do rounded out tongue or a sharp tongue. I think I would like to do sharp tongue. So start from here, go up, and then touch. And then you can do extra details to it. Now for the outer part, the cheeks for the dog mouth. So Start where you want and go out like this kind of shape, like a squiggle line. Then go straight up. Go left with your curve, kind of like this. You have one cheek done. And then here comes the furry line. And for the fur lines, you will you can just do this motion. So, don't go all the way high, but about like this. Then, for the eyes, you go out like a circle, but they don't fully connect. Then, from about the middle point of the fur line, you go out like this, full circle, then on the bottom of this eye, you the dot and color it. Then going ahead and to the chin. So if you go onto your line, which should not be even like this, you go up and basically I need to just draw a dot here, but like that's a straight line. So you'd start here, go up like a lump. Then go a little bit down, then do the same thing as this lump before, but a little bit more rounded out. And then go to the line of this, and that's basically where you'll 
stop. Then you go out again, then come back in. So we got the, the shape of the head done. Now for the other eye, draw a circle on this edge over here, color it in, and you got the two eyes. Okay, now start basically right where this lump kind of starts straight going up. So about right here for the rounded lump. So you go, go up, but a little bit to the side, like a fin. Then come down a little bit. And then right in the middle of this eye where this is, you come here out. That is the ear. And the other ear is like somewhere behind this eye, so you won't be drawing that out. If you do want to, you just start from here and then go to this part of the eye if you want to draw the other part of the ear. I think I'll actually do that. So go up, down, like this. Okay, so we got the facial part done. Well, up here you can see there's kind of like a spike fin, which will be the spikes on its back. So start in the middle of this ditch, go up, and then just do a bunch of spikes too. Now, right about here, you go out. It'll be a little bit down, that's fine. And then go in this way. <clears throat> then, for the tail, you start right almost where the ditch is and you go up here, so if I do, Go from here to here, that's exactly the point where I want to be. So then you go out just like a spike, come back in, and then do a bunch more down as long as you want the tail to be. But I'm gonna be pretty long. So just go straight down, but not the curve of the tail yet. So once you're done with all these spikes, to add them to the back to not look like they're a part of the scales of this or the first, so you can go like this and connect them so they look like more like spikes. You start from where you stopped with the lines and you go kind of like a curve, but a more not straight up curve, but a little bit wider and not fully a U shape. And then you start from where you did it again. You go a little bit up, kind of like a, from your nails far, and you go down and connect. Then for the spikes on the tail, since they're from a different eyesight area, then you will start from about where you started again and draw spikes together. Three in a row, I recommend. Then again, and then again. So three spikes in a row, three times. And then once you're done with that, you can can you can connect them like this. Okay. Then for the hind legs. So with your spikes done, you so you kind of already got the base of it. So if you go like this and go a little bit out, go down. Like this, I'm gonna make a little bit curved V. And then you can like put some lines through it as hair. Just like that. Then you take the other direction, go a little bit out farther, like about maybe a centimeter and a half far. And you can go down and then that's where you can draw the claws or the feet if you want. Feet and claws. So we are almost done with this uh, hugzilla and so do this kind of motion 
three lumps at the end, starting from the tail to this way. Then from the center, then you can connect them like this. Then from the first one, the lump where it touches the second toe right here, you go up and then it curves like this. Kind of like a half of a keyhole. Then, this is a kind of long motion. You go out and then like this. Once you're done with that, you go up a little bit at a diagonal and go straight up this way and this way, kind of like stairs. And then you finally do a U curve. And then you curve, not a U curve again, and then up. And then the other finger of this hand, you go like this. Then cross. Then third one. Now for the last part, well not the last. And so after I do this part, we can do more details. So the other hand. So about where this lump is, you go down a little bit and you kind of like an L shape, a curve, so kind of like a long S. Then a super curve another curve, another claw, up, straight. Okay, now for more of the details. So some things that you can do is, if you want to, you can add more spikes. Here, and then for more details for the nose, you can go like this. For the mouth, And then for some parts, like if you want, you could add hair. And for extra details of the fur, you could just add some triangle lines. So I'm gonna add some uh, here and there. Try not to make patterns because that's kind of what takes out the kind of fantasy or what makes it look more real out of the drawing. So like if you do fur patterns, I wouldn't recommend what I'm doing right now because, like, they're a little bit too tight. But, like, if you extend them out a little more and, like, put them in, like, not patterns, designs on how you place them, I think that would be better. And so I'm going to add fur also on the face even though probably there isn't that much fur there. And... So I'm going to do a little bit some more smaller lines. I'll do three dots for where the whiskers go. And then I'll add more lines. And that's basically what <clears throat> we can do. And so once you're done with that, you can um, you can like add more fur details if you want. And this is the final piece.
thanks for watching and please donate to watch more videos of my art classes. Bye.